Seventh question. Okay, very good. So seventh. Okay, this link is. Now, this is the question. A man running a race course notes that the sum of the distance from the two flag from his always ten. Okay, I will write the question here. Man running. Man running a race course. Race course notes that uh, the sum of the distance that the sum of the distance from the two flag the distance from the from the two flag from the two flag post from him post from him rose from him is always 10 is always 10 meter okay and the distance between and the distance between and the distance between and the distance between the flag post between the flag post is post is eight meter. Find the equation. Find the equation. Find the equation of the post. Find the equation of the post. Traced by the man. Traced by the by the man. Okay. So Please check here. First of all, we need to decide that which uh, this question belongs to which topic. We have already covered the four topics. Now, the question is a man running a race course moves that the sum of the distance from two flag. Okay, let the first flag be here, second be here. This flag is F1 and this flag be F2. From him is always 10 meters. So sum of the distance is always 10 meters. So Yusra, can you tell me that uh, this is of which type? Sum is always a constant. So this belongs to which type? We have done a parabola. Ellipse. Yep. Ellipse, very good. Okay, so everyone knows that what's the definition of ellipse? Set of all the points whose sum of distance from two fixed points are always a constant. So that means the shape is of ellipse. Okay, now what we need to uh, just draw a line like this and draw like this one. Okay, like this. Now, uh, this is given, and the distance between the flag post is eight meter. This is your distance, which is eight meter. This is eight meter. Okay. And this is eight meter. Now, Hotika, um, Hotika, can you tell me what coordinates we take for the focus in an ellipse? Hotika. Mm, What's the focus in an ellipse? No, Krishna, where's the focus? Krishna? Yes, a negative C comma zero. Minus C comma zero, very good. And this one is? Plus, plus C, C comma, comma zero. Very good. And this is what? This is A. Sorry, minus A comma zero. This is A comma zero. This is what? This is zero comma B. And this is zero comma minus. Okay, now uh, what is given? Distance between the flag post is eight meter. So that means, can we say two C is equal to eight? Two C is equal to eight meter. This correct? Okay. Next, and what is given? And uh, sum of the distance from the running a race course. Note that sum of the distance from two flag posts from him is always ten meter. So that means, suppose if his position at any moment is here. This is the position. So if we will find this distance, this one, this from this, and if we will calculate this distance, this. Okay, so this distance, uh, we can say this is A, this is B, uh, 
So just give me a minute, let this be D. Okay. So that means what distance we are talking about AF1 plus AF2. And this is 10 meter. This clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, now we will find all the distance. Okay. So first we need to calculate this distance from A to F2. Anyone can tell me what is this distance? We need AF1, we need AF2, this is equal to. So first of all, we will find AF2. Anyone can tell me what is this distance AF2? AF2. A plus C. Sorry, sir, and got disconnected because of internet internet issues. Okay, okay, okay. Hothika and not issue. So Hothika, uh, as per the question, we have drawn the ellipse because in the question it is given that the sum of distance is always a constant. So sum means we have a shape of an ellipse. Any doubt, Hothika, in this? No, sir. Okay, then the coordinates we have taken as minus c comma zero and c comma zero, and this a and c we have taken as a comma zero and minus c comma zero. This we have already done. Okay, now what is given? They are saying that distance between the two flags is eight meter. So these are the two flags. The distance, the distance between the two flags is eight meters. So we can say two c is equal to eight meter. Now they are saying that the uh, some of the distance from two flag poles from in is always a constant, is always 10. So suppose that at any moment his position is this one. So we will calculate the sum of distance. So what distance we will calculate? We need AF1, distance between this man and first flag, distance between this man and the second flag. This is clear, Hothika? Yes, sir. Okay, so Hothika, this distance, AF2, can you tell me what is this distance, AF2? Hmm? Can you tell me what is this AF2? AF2. This complete. Please check it. This is the origin. Okay. Now uh, this complete is C. Sorry, this complete is A. Yes. And this is C. So can we say that AF2 is A plus C? Hmm. Yes. Okay. And similarly, can you tell me what is AF1? I guess anyone can tell me what is AF1? If you a are minus C. A minus C. This clear to everyone? A minus C. We need this one, AF1. Okay. So here to here, the complete distance is A. Here to here, the distance is C. So if we need this, then A minus C. This clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Yusra, any doubt in this? No, sir. Okay. okay. AF1 plus AF2. So we will solve this one, we will get twice of A. And this is given that the distance is 10. So we will get two is equal to 10. So that means A is equal to A is equal to five. And from here, we will get C is equal to, C is equal to four. Okay, now we need B. So what's the relation between A, B and C? A square is equal to B square plus C square. Very good. A square is equal to B square plus C square. You will always get confused in the formulas of hyperbola and ellipse. Okay. So remember in this way, in this case, A is greater. That's why A square is equal to B square plus C square. And if you will check the hyperbola, then in the hyperbola, C is greater. That's why C square is equal to A square plus B square. So please learn the formulas in this way. So we get to this. <coughs> Put all the values. What is A? A is 5 square. What is B square? What is C? Four is square. Okay. So we will get this one. This 25 is equal to B square plus 16. So we will get B square is equal to nine. We will get B is equal to, we will just take a three. Now for this ellipse, we know the standard equation is X square plus A square plus Y square by B square is equal to one. Now you can say that X square by A square means 25 plus y squared by b squared. That means nine is equal to one. So we get this equation. Okay, we need to find the equation. So this is the final equation. Find the equation of the post, trace by the map. Okay. Okay, Hothika, Yusra, Krishna, any doubt in this? No, sir. Okay. 
Okay, very good. And please uh, note down this and confirm me. Then uh, we will start the new topic. Or if uh, okay, do you have any other doubting miscellaneous? Okay, okay, very good. So I hope that this chapter is complete. Okay, and in miscellaneous maximum questions we have already done. Okay, so two, three questions are left. I guess only two questions are left. So you can try this on your own. So any doubt in this chapter? No, no sir. Okay. Okay, then uh, tomorrow I need to take a viva. So which chapter will you choose? The probability or the section? So probability. Probability, okay. And probability is okay for all? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, then. Tomorrow I will take the vibe. Okay. So this step is also completed. Now we will start the next chapter that is limits and derivative. If anyone still have a doubt in this one, conic section, then please let me know. Any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. No. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, then. Good. Now, so just, just give me a minute. Okay, so we will start with the limits and derivative. Okay, so uh, we in the term two we have only derivative, not limits. But for derivative, we need some knowledge of limits, not complete, but we must have some basic knowledge about the limits so that we can do the questions of derivative. Okay, uh, anyone have an idea about limits? Basic idea. Okay. Notation. Okay, limits. You can say in eleventh maths this is the most complicated chapter. Okay, after function, even function and limits both are complicated. So you can easily solve the questions of limit. But yes, what is a limit? It will take some time to understand this. Okay, that what is a limit? Limit is just a limit. Okay. So. Uh, limits or limits is the expected value of the function. Okay, limits is expected expected value of the function. Expected value of the function. Value of the. Function. Okay. So what is mean by expected value? We will check with the graph. I suppose. Uh, I hope in functions. You have a basic idea about functions, so you have done the graph of this. Suppose we have this function fx, and this is your curve. This is a curve. So you already know that on the x-axis, x-axis we will take here, and here we will get the, we have a y-axis, which will give us fx. Now suppose if we have this point one, if we have this point one on the x-axis, and the corresponding value at this point, this is two. Okay, so anyone can tell me that what is F1? Anyone have an idea what is F1? Okay, so this is your function, this is Fx. Okay, so the value of the function you will always get on the y axis. Okay, so the value of the function you always get on the y axis. So when x is equal to 1, this is x axis. When x is equal to 1, then what is its value on y axis? 2. So that's why we can say that f1 is equal to 2. This clear to everyone? Yes, sir. What's your kind, Yusra? Yes, sir. Okay, this, yes, is, this is a complicated topic. So in some days, we will be able to understand that what is actually a limit. Okay, but uh, how to solve the limit, you can understand in the today's class. Okay, so at exactly one of values. Now, what we will do if, uh, just give me a minute. Now, if,
if we will remove this, okay. And we will draw a function like this. Okay, there is nothing here. Suppose now this point is one, x is equal to one. And we need this. Okay, uh, there's a space, nothing is there. If I will find, if I will ask you what is f1, then f1 is, we don't have anything. f1 is not defined, not zero. It is not defined, does not exist. This clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go to the question. Okay, so this clear to everyone. Okay, so if we have a graph, we have a point, we can say, okay, this is the value. But what if there is no graph? You'll say this is not defined, there's nothing. This doesn't exist. Not defined is not the correct word. You'll say this doesn't exist. Okay. Now, what if someone will ask us that what is the value of this limit? X tends to one. Okay, now suppose this is true. If someone will ask us that what is limit X tends to one, then we will say two. Now, what's the difference? Earlier we have, uh, earlier we have told you that there is nothing that's why this doesn't exist. There's nothing. But the value of the limit is exist. At x is equal to one, function do not exist, but the value of the limit exists. So what does it mean by limit? Limit means expected value of the function. This means if you are, if x is going towards one, okay, this arrow sign means x is going towards one, then what is mean by this complete limit? Then this means where the function is approaching. So we will say when x approaches to one, okay, fx approaches to two. So what is this means? Okay, we will write like this, limit x tends to one, fx is equal to two. So this means when x approaches to one, then fx approaches to two. I'm not saying the value of fx is two. I'm saying fx approaches to two. Okay, I'm saying when you go towards one, then fx will go towards two. We will take one more example. Now, uh, suppose we have this function, we have fx is equal to x square minus four by x minus two. So we know that f2 doesn't exist. If we will put here, we will get a zero by zero, which not defined, okay? Zero by zero form is not defined. So we will say at exactly two, the function is not defined. We will write here x, we will write here fx. We are talking about this, okay? So we will write all the values. This is x. Okay, sorry. This is okay. So add to function is not different. We have already checked here. At this point, anyone have a doubt? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So for two, this is not defined. Now, what if you will put a value less than two? For example, if you will put 1.9. If you will x put x is 1.9, then here we will get a 3.9. Okay. You will get a 3.9. If you will put 1.99, you can check this by putting all the values here. You will definitely get the same answer, which I'm telling you, 3.99. Okay, if you will put triple nine, then you will get 3.99. If you will put one point, I'm writing here, nine and three nine here. So that means four nines. So you will get 3.1234. If you will put this one, 1 1.99, I'm writing five nine. So you will get three point five times nine. Okay. So that means when X is approaching, approaches to two. If you check here, this is 1.9, this is 1.99, 1.999 and so on. So that means we are going very, very close to two. And this function is approaching to which value? 3.9, 3.99, 3.999, 3 3.4 times nine, 3.5 times nine. So as you go towards two, then this function is approaching to which value? Can we say four? Four. four. This is correct. 
Um, yes, Krishna. Yes. Sir. Okay. This is very good. Okay. So when x is approaches to two, then this function this approaches to four. But we are putting this value from left side, left of two. We will try with the right of two. So for example, if we will put four point two point one, and we will get a four point one. If we will put two point zero one, we will get as four point zero one. We will get 2.001. We will get 4.001. We will get 2.001. We will get 4.001. If we will put 2.4 times, we will get 4.0000. So you can see this value. If you are going towards this two from the right side, then also fx is approaches to four. So what we can say when x approaches to two, then fx approaches to four. We are not saying that the value of the function is four. We are saying for fx approaches to four. So this is what the limit is, okay? This is the limit. So what does this mean? This means when x approaches to one, when x goes towards one, then fx approaches to two. That's why at, in this case, when x is equal to one, function does not exist, but limit exists. Limit is x is equal to two. Sorry, limit is two. Similarly, we can, we can check here that when x approaches to two, then we don't have any value of the function. But when limit of the function exists, so when x approaches to two, the fx approaches to four, that's why we will say that the value of the, that the, value of the limit is four. Okay, so we have a two way we can approach from the less left side or the right side. So if we approach from the left side, we will say left hand limit. If we will approach from the right side, we will say right hand limit. Both the lim limit should be equal. If LHL and RHL are not equal, then we will say that the limit does not exist. If LHL is equal to RHL, we will say that the limit exists. And whatever the value of LHL and RHL is, that is our final answer. Okay, so I hope you understand now that what is mean by limits. So limit means when x approaches to a value, then fx approaches to what? That is the value of the limit. It doesn't mean that the value of the function at that point exists. It, it only means that the fx approaches to that value. Okay, so 20% is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so... There is no need to write all this, okay? Uh, you can note down the definition. Okay, please note down this definition. Limit is defines the value that a function approaches the output for the given input value. Okay, this is the same thing which we are talking about, that a function approaches the output for the given input value. If there is a value of x, then fx approaches to what value? That is the limit. Okay. Now, uh, suppose we have a function f, we have a real number c, then limit is normally defined as limit extends to c, fx, and this is the value of the limit. It is read as limit of f of x as x approaches to c equals l. This one, the limit, this shows limit. And the fact that the function fx approaches the limit L as x approaches C is described by the writer. Okay, so you can note down all this, but what's the summary is, what is mean by this? This means when x approaches to C, then fx approaches to L. What is mean by L? This is the value to which the fx approach. Okay, you can note down this, but only this we need. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, please, please note on this and confirm me, then uh, we will try some questions. Please uh, let me know once this is done.
Uh, let me know. This trend. डेरिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटि
No, sir. Okay. Okay. Now suppose if we will get a question like this, limit x tends to two, twice of x. Anyone can tell me the answer? Four. Four. Both we can. Good, yes, sir. Both we can. What is the answer? Yes, sir. What is the answer? Four. Four. Okay. So there is no doubt in this one. Okay. So please try this question. First one. Then tell me the answer. First of all, please complete the first question and tell me that. Uh, no, very good. If not, please start the second one. Then, uh, Yusra and Othika, please share the first trans. Very good, Yusra. That's correct. Othika, please share the answer. And start the second one. No, very good. Both we can please play the first answer and let me know if you have any, any doubt in the first one. Uh, you saw uh, one by seven is four. Both we can try second by. one, sir. No, no, no. You need to put two. So two square, my two square is four. Four minus four is. Oh, sorry, sir. For me. Hmm. Sir, I typed the answer of the first one. Is it correct? Uh, yes, Lopika, that's correct. First is okay. Please okay. start the second one. Uh, this is uh, Krishna. Will you please again check the uh, very good? Krishna, good. Third is correct. What we can use for please share the second answer. Yes, sir, very good. That's great. Please start the third one and Hotika, please share the second answer. Hotika, very good. Second is correct. Please start the third one. Uh, no, you can not do two. If you will put a zero here, under root one means one. Here also under root one means one. Okay. Please tell me the final answer again.
any doubt in this? Yes, sir. I'm not able to move. Okay, okay, okay. And it will just give me a minute. Okay, please check here. If uh, you will put zero here, then what will happen? Well, you will get under root one plus zero plus under root one minus zero by one plus zero. So this will give you under root one. Okay, plus this will give you under root one by one. Now what is under root one? This is one. And what is this? This is again one by one, which will give you two. This clear, Uthvika? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, yes, sir, this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay good. Welcome. Okay, so please uh, again do this question. And we will now start the next one. Okay, next we will start with this factorization method. Now, uh, what is the factorization method? Uh, for example, if you have a question like this, limit, limit, x tends to one, x squared minus one by x minus one. Okay, we need to solve this. Uh, now, uh, Krishna, please put the limit directly and tell me what the answer you are getting. So it will be zero by zero. Zero by zero by zero. Okay. So whenever we will get a zero by zero form, then we need to apply some other method. We will always start with the direct substitution method. If that fails, we will apply the different methods. For example, here we can use a factorization method, but we can write x square minus a square. Yusra, please tell me what's the formula of a square minus b square. Yusra, what's the formula of a square minus b square? Krishna, what's the formula? So a square. Yeah. A plus b into a minus b. Okay. Okay, Yusra, this is correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so a minus b plus b and by x minus 1. Now, what we can do, we can cancel out this. So, finally, what we will get, we will get limit x tends to 1, x plus 1. And this is equal to, now put the limit. So this will give you one plus one, which will give you two. Okay, so if the direct substitution method will fail, the second method is factorization. You need to factorize the terms. Any doubt in this one? Any doubt? No, sir. Okay, so there's no need to note down this. Okay, I will give you some other questions. Please try the first one. Please try the first question and tell me the answer. Okay, so there's a quadratic. You need to solve the quadratic equation. This you already know, there's a square minus b square. Okay, please solve it and show the answer. Please let me know if you are facing an issue in the first one. Okay, and share your answer if this completed.
Please let me know if you're facing any issue in the first week. So can you solve the first one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yusra Hudvika, uh, are you facing any uh, difficulty in this? Yes, first one? Uh, I'm Okay, okay, okay. So the numerator is quadratic equation. Anyone can tell me how can we solve the numerator? Quadratic. In class tenth, you have done all this. So split. So not to split the five. Splitting the splitting the middle term. Okay. So we need two numbers. We need to split this. We need two numbers whose when we multiply those two, we will get this one six x squared. Okay. We need to break minus 5x like this, and we will multiply the two numbers, we will get a 6x squared. So can we say that the two numbers are 2x and minus 3x? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Plus 6 by x squared minus 4. Okay, now this is limit x tends to 2. We just need to factorize this. So take common x, x minus 2, and we can take minus 3. This is x minus 2 by this is x squared minus 4. Okay, so we can write like this, x squared minus 2 squared. So this is equal to limit x tends to 2. Okay, and this is x minus 3. This is x minus 2. And by this a squared minus b squared. So this will give you x minus 2 and x plus 2. Any doubt till now? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, so just cancel out this one. Put the limits. Okay, here put the limit, you will get a 2 minus 3. Here you will get a 2 plus 2. And finally, you will get a minus one by four. This clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, very good. And please try the second one and tell me the answer. Let me know if anyone have a doubt in the second one. Okay, I will give you the hint for the second one. Okay. So uh, in the second one, if we have x cubed minus, we can say one cube. Okay, so uh, what's the formula of Yusra? A cube minus B cube. Anyone? Pat, uh, Krishna? So A minus B into A square plus B square plus A. Good. This is A minus B. 
and this is a square plus b square plus ab. Okay, please use the formula now. Uh, you will be able to solve this. Okay, Krishna, you get the answer. Let me check this. So uh, why this is three by two? Let me check. Uh, why this is in the denominator two? Krishna. So it is in the denominator. We use uh, x square minus uh, uh, one square, right? That is x plus. There is no square. We have only x minus one. If we have x square, then we will apply the formula a square minus b square. But in the denominator, we only have x. Okay. okay. Yes, I've got. It. Okay, okay. Please complete this and tell the answer. Anyone still have a doubt, then please, uh, uh, Yusra, not Kare, not one. Please again check the calculation, Yusra. Krishna, very good, this is correct. Yusra, please check the answer. Hotvika, please share your answer. Sir, I shared my answer. Okay, very good. This is correct. Are you sir? You got the answer? Okay, okay. You sir, very good. Now, please try the third one. Okay. In third, maybe you'll face some problem. Please try the third one and tell me if you have a doubt in this one. I will help you. Krishna and Yusra, any doubt in third? So, so can you help solve it? Yes. Any doubt in third? Uh, yes, sir. No, I just started. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, please check here. You will face issue in fact pricing this. Okay, so these types of questions you have done in class ninth. Now, how can we uh, factorize this? This is not a quadratic, okay? And there's no, no other standard formula for this one. So in these types of questions, where in quadratic only we can factorize it, okay? When we have a cubic, then it becomes very difficult for us. We can't uh, factorize this directly. So what is our method? We have this function, x cubed minus three x squared plus four, okay? We have this function, we need to factorize this one. And the limit is, Two. So what is the method? Method is always put x is equal to two here. Then can you tell me what the answer you are getting? Krishna and you sir. Please put two here. What's the answer you are getting? 24. No, not 24. Yusra, what's the answer? Please again check it. Yes, sir, we'll turn to. So zero. So zero. Zero, zero. Okay. So when you're putting some value and you are getting a zero, then you will say that x minus two is the factor of this. Okay. You have done these types of question in class nine. X minus two is the factor of this one. Okay. So what's the method? From where we get to two? Because the limit is two. That's why we have put two here. And we are getting a zero. That's why we will say that x minus two is the factor of this one. Now, what's the method? Method is, method is, please write like this, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4. Okay. And divide this with x minus 2. Okay. How can you divide? Check x and x cubed. So with what value you will multiply this x so that you will get x cubed? This is x squared. So you will get x cubed. Okay, and this is minus 2x squared. And finally, you will get minus plus this cancel out. This is minus x squared plus four. Then you will multiply this with minus x. So this you will get minus x squared and this is plus two x. So as there's no value of x here, you will write separately. 
Now change the sign, this will cancel out. Change the sign of this one. Write minus two x here. Write four here. Okay, then with what value you will multiply this x with minus two. So you will get a minus two x and plus four. Okay, so what we get, we get this one in place of this, what can we write? We can write x minus two and we can write x square minus x minus two. This clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, similarly, can you do this for the denominator? You will put two here. You, this also, uh, you will get a zero. That is divided in the same way and write in the denominator. Can you do this? Krishna, yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Okay, Hultika, you have some network issue. Please check here. We are doing the third one. For the third question, uh, how we need to start? Hultika, uh, my voice is audible. Hultika, you can reply me on the chat box. My voice is not for the denominator. Also, we we'll use x minus two. Right? Yeah, x minus two. Okay, because the limit is two, so we need to check with two. Okay, okay. both Vika, my voice is audible. Both Vika, either uh, unmute yourself or reply me on the chat box. Okay, so that I can explain you the further steps. Here properly, okay. Use uh, both of now. Is it better? Yes, please uh, try to read that. My voice is audible. Okay, 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 very good. So, uh, I will switch off my beat, okay, because uh, it will make some effect. Now, we were uh, discussing the question number third. Now, in the third question, we have a cubic equation, okay, of degree three. So, we can't factorize this directly. So these types of questions we have solved in class nine. So what's the method? We have a limit x tends to two. So please put two in this numerator. In x cube minus three x square plus four, in this one, please put x is equal to two. Okay, so if you will put this, you will get a zero. You can check here. Two cube means eight, eight plus four, 12, and this is 12. So you will get a zero. So if you're putting any value in the equation and you are getting a zero, then that means you will say that X minus two is the factor of this. Okay, X is equal to two. If you're putting here, you are getting a zero and you will say that X minus two is a factor of this equation. Okay, so X, if this is a factor, then how can you divide this in this one, in this way, okay? You have done these types of question in class ninth. So please check again. Uh, how can we divide this? Minus three x squared plus four x minus two. So we will write like this. This is x cube. This is x. With what value we will multiply this x so that we will get x cube. So we will multiply with x squared. X into x squared is x cube. Minus two into two x squared is minus two x squared. Okay. Now change the sign. This will cancel out and this you will get minus x squared plus four. Okay, now uh, we are doing some straight. Okay. okay, next you will multiply this with minus x so that you will get a minus x squared and you're getting a two x. So here there is no two x. So we will write this separately. Now change the sign. This is plus, this is minus. This cancel out here. You will get a minus two x and you will get a four. Now, 
it is minus two. Okay, so you will get a minus two x and plus four. This you will change the sign. This will cancel out. This will cancel out. You will get a zero. So in place of this complete equation, you can write like this: x minus two into this. One. Okay, both figure this clear. Both figure this clear. Both figure. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Okay, then uh, uh, in the denominator. Okay, in the denominator, please do the same thing. Write the equation, cancel out something, then finally put the limits. Okay, um, uh, Yuka and uh, Krishna. Now uh, this time. Uh, so I'm not able to do it. So I'm okay, getting okay. the value as zero. So is it correct? You are getting the value as your final. So maybe. Okay. That is possible. Let me check this. No, sir. I'm getting like, uh, yeah. So it's zero by zero now. I'm getting zero, zero by zero is not correct. Okay, if you are getting a zero by zero, then uh, Krishna, please again factorize that. Okay. 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 Uh, yes, sir. Please check here. We, here we have x to the power four minus eight x square plus sixteen. We need to divide this with x minus 2. So you can write x cube. You will get x to the power 4 minus 2x cube. Okay. You will get subtract plus this cancel out here. You will get a 2x cube minus 8x square. Okay. And plus 2x square. You will multiply this. You will get a 2x cube minus 4x square. This cancel out here. You will get a minus. 4x squared plus 16, you will get a minus 4x, so you will get minus 4x squared plus 8x, just cancel out, change the sign, minus 8x plus 16, so just write minus 8, you will get a minus 8x, and you will get a plus 16, just cancel out this. Yusra, uh, in which step you are facing the issue? Uh, so actually, that minus two x cube rate, I did not put it to the left side. That's okay. why I was finding the problem. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Put it up. Please complete this and change also. So we should divide the denominator again uh, with x minus two. Yes. If you are again getting a zero by zero form, then please divide that. Okay. Again, factorize. Okay. So sure. nu numerator can be factorized directly because there's a quadratic equation. For the cubic one, you need to again divide. It. Okay, Krishna. This clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Okay. So this will become x minus two, and this will become x cubed plus two x square minus four x minus eight. Uh, Krishna, there is no need to divide this. We can take our directly common here. Okay.
So we can write like this. We can take x common, x minus two plus one, x minus two. Okay, and the denominator, we have this one. So take x square common, you will get x plus two. Here take minus four common, you will get x plus two. And here, this is x minus two, and this is x plus one, and this is equal to x square minus four, and this is x plus two. Okay. Now this further can be written as like this: x minus two, x plus one, by this is x square minus four. Okay. So we can write x minus two, x plus two, again x plus two. Okay. And now finally, what we can do? Uh, cancel out this one. Uh, what you will get x plus one. Now uh, you can put the limits. So x plus one by x plus two whole square. Okay, so Krishna, uh, sorry, Hodvika, your answer was correct. Very good. Hodvika, very good. This is useful. Uh, where uh, you are doing this mistake? Yusra. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'll, I'll redo it and check. Okay, I've already done the calculation here. So you can check out here and match all the steps. Krishna, this one? Uh, yes, sir. Just this. Okay, so Krishna, uh, here we have a four terms. Therefore, the further division is not required. Okay. Sir. Okay, so you can do this by the division method or by taking a common. But if there are three terms, then you can't solve it directly. You need to uh, divide this to make it a quadratic equation. Oh, sir? Yeah. Yes. After this step, uh, we will be getting the x squared minus x divided by x cubed plus uh, 2x. So yep. can we not just um, simply just put a sorry. two in place of x and then uh, do the calculation over there? I'm sorry, uh, Yusra, will you please repeat? Uh, Yusra, can you repeat this? Uh, 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 will you please tell me uh, what was uh, the solution for this uh, the method? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. So I was asking that. Uh, in the second step where we have x square minus x minus 2 divided mm -hmm. by x cube and all that yeah. can we not uh, put 2 over there in place of x and then simply just divide it and okay so, it? okay so you want to say this uh, without taking common we can do in this way uh, yes sir you need to use this method Oh, sorry, you say your voice is not on the bill. Hey, you sir, uh, Yes, sir. Yes, so I'm asking that, uh, are you saying this, that with this one also we will use again this method? No, sir. Like after we got the answer after division, after yeah. dividing that, yes. can we not substitute 2 in place of x and then uh, do the further solution? Okay, okay, okay. So you are like saying is that... Is it necessary to take it common and then... Okay, do... okay, 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 okay. Perfect, perfect. So you are saying that uh, why we have a crisis further, why didn't we put the values? That's correct? Yes, sir. Okay, you need to do like this only, what you are saying that you need to cancel out and then you need to put the value. Actually, Krishna has already told me that when he is getting this one and you put the value, then the final answer was zero by zero. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Okay, so if you're putting the value and again, you are getting a not defined form, then what you need to do, then you again need to factorize this. Okay. okay so, so because, sir, I got one by six. One by six. Uh, you said that it's not possible. We will check again. Okay, so what if you will put two here? So this will become four. Four minus two minus two. So what is this? Zero. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, in the denominator, when you will put the value, this will become eight. This will become eight. Eight, eight, sixteen, and this will become sixteen. Sixteen minus sixteen is zero. So again, you will get a zero by zero. So if you are again getting a zero by zero, then further factorization is required. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, so hope you guys completed. Uh, Krishna, you get the answer? Yes, sir. 3 by 16. 3 by 16, very good. Yusra, please complete this and tell me the final answer. Yes, sir. 3 by I uh, have already solved till here. Okay, so you just need to put the value and share your answer so that we can start the next time. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you start this one. Can we start next? Done, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. So you're getting a 3 by 16? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, we will start next. Then. Now, uh, next is our rationalization method. Okay, so what's the rationalization method? You have done the rationalization question also in class. I guess, like, okay. now, for example, we'll take a first question. We have this limit x tends to zero under root two plus x minus root two by x. So, if we will do this by a direct substitution, first of all, we need to do a question, we need to check by direct substitution. So, put the limit, you get two plus zero minus root two by zero. So root two, root two cancel out, we will get a zero by zero. So this is a not different form. Now we can't factorize this. Okay, so our next method is rationalization method. So how can we solve this question? Uh, we can write like this. Okay, we can write like this limit You can write like this limit x tends to zero. Okay. And this is root two plus x minus root two by x. We need to rationalize this one. So what we will do, we will multiply and divide the same term, but we'll just change the sign. So we will write like this two plus x plus root two by root two plus x plus root two. Okay, so what you will get, you will get a limit x tends to zero. Now this is a minus b plus b. So you will get a two plus x whole square minus root two whole square by x. This is root two plus x plus root two. 
This is limit x tends to zero. This is a square means two plus x minus, this is what two? Uh, sorry, we are putting the limits. Uh, sorry, we're solving this. So we'll get a x under root of two plus x plus two two. Now in the numerator, what we will get, we will get a limit, limit x tends to zero. Okay, open this bracket, this two will cancel out. So we'll get a x by x under root two plus x plus two two. Now this x will cancel out. We will get limit x tends to zero. Okay, and this is one by under root two plus x plus root two. Okay, now put the limits. So one by one by uh, this is root two plus root two is equal to one by two root two. This clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is a rationalization method. Always we will do like this. We will multiply and divide by changing the sign. Any doubt, Hothika, Yusra? No, sir. Okay, very good. Then please note down this and start the second question and share the second answer. Or if you have any doubt, at least okay. Okay, uh, this first question is clear. Any doubt in first one? Utrika? Okay, no. Okay, then uh, we will do the second one. Okay, so this is limit x tends to zero. x by 
this is under root a plus x minus under root a minus x. We need to solve this one. Okay. Now, Bhutvika, uh, can you tell me how can we solve it? Bhutvika, can you tell me how can we solve this one? Okay. We'll uh, use the rationalization method. Again, okay. multiply and divide. Multiply with under root a plus x. Change the sign to positive. And this is a minus x by multiply and divide with under root a plus x plus under root a minus x. Okay. So this will give you limit x tends to zero. This is x and this is under root of a plus x plus under root of a minus x by this is a minus b and a plus b. So the formula will be a square minus b square. So a plus x whole square minus under root a minus x whole square. This is equal to limit x tends to zero x under root of a plus x plus under root of a minus x. Now this is what a squared, that means a plus x. This is what a minus x. So this will become, okay. So this has become limit x minus to zero. And this is x, and this is under root of a plus x plus under root of a minus x. Okay, by open this bracket, you will get a plus x minus a plus x. So this a will cancel out and you will get a limit x tends to zero. Okay, this is x, this is under root of a plus x, plus under root of a minus x. Okay, by this choice of x, x will cancel out. So finally we will get this one. Now in the numerator, we get this limit x tends to zero. This is under root of a plus x plus under root of a minus x by two. Now put the limit. So this will become under root a. Okay, Krishna, you get the answer. Very good. I have just checked your answer by two. The good Krishna, I am also getting the same answer. Okay, so that means we both are correct. Okay, how uh, hope you got this clear? Bhutvika, this clear? Okay, very good. Uh, Yusra, this clear? Yusra, this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. okay, very good. So we have only seven minutes. So please start the third one. We will not start the new topic now. Please start the question with third. Okay, Krishna, you are getting a uh, one by root a. Let me check. So this will become two x square, and this will cancel out. So you will get two by a square 
Okay, okay, okay. We've completed and three also. Uh, this question is done. This is a simple question. We have already done. Okay, Hojika, can you tell me what is the answer? Hojika, what is the answer? Uh, one by thirteen, I guess. No, one by why one by thirteen? We have a A. So is the answer one by A? Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Okay, so uh, your homework is exercise thirteen point one, question number one to twelve. We uh, we don't know, don't need to do the complete chapter of limits we will just do those questions whose use is required in the derivative these questions will not be asked in your exam in the term two this is for the term one okay so but just for the practice you can solve question number one to twelve so that you will not face any issue in doing the derivative questions after this we have two methods so algebraic and a one method okay 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 good to kind of issue Okay, so we still have three or four, four topics in limits. And after that, we can start the derivative. So most probably, derivative will be start next week. Okay, so please complete the conic sections questions. And tomorrow you have a Bible probability. Okay, so shall we uh, end the class? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, you said you have not written on book? Yes, sir. So I actually got disconnected because I had some network issues.
okay 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 not even so okay then we will continue tomorrow okay uh you sir you got the answer this one third one okay okay also can krishna thank you thank you sir okay you're welcome